Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. After the dissolution of Soviet Union, Russia could not develop a powerful air-to-air -air missile. India, which was dependent on Russia for all its military hardware, has also suffered a capability gap in its beyond visual range combat capabilities over China and Pakistan. This led to the rise of indigenously developed Astra series of missiles. In this video, we are not going to discuss about all the variants of Astra as we have made a detailed video on that and its link can be found under the description section. Today's discussion will be focused around Astra Mark II. Astra Mark II is highly agile, accurate and reliable missile which features high single shot kill probability BVR missile and is fully capable of operating under all weather conditions. DIDO is only a short distance away from developing the Astra Mark II which will have a longer range between 160 to 200 km. The range of the missile will differ with a different configuration and height from which it is released. It will be powered by a dual pulse solid fuel rocket motor. Because of this, its range and no escape zone both are going to be almost double of Astra Mark I. The Mark II will also come with improved high angle of bore sight capability, improved electronic countermeasure systems and will sport with two-way data link which is first for Indian missiles. With the help of two-way data link, pilot can change the course and target of missile as per conditional requirement. A two-way data link enables the launch aircraft to provide mid-course target updates or retargeting if required, including data of both third parties. The data link is capable of transmitting missile information such as functional and kinematic status, information about multiple targets and notification of target acquisition by seeker. Now talking about general specification of Astra Mark II, the length of the missile is 3.8 meter while its diameter is 178 millimeters and overall launch weight is 160 kg. It will also incorporate an AES radar instead of KU band seeker used in Astra Mark I which will improve the first kill probability by a significant margin. Astra uses dual mode guidance consists of a mid-course inertial guidance driven by fiber optics, gyroscope and terminal guidance to active radar homing. Active radar homing consists of a semi-active radar which means it will have only receiver module and not the transmitter module making it jam proof. Astra Mark II will be using laser proximity fuse for the detonation of its directional fragmentation warhead. If we look at the design of the missile, it has a clipped delta fins at the front, three launch shoes in between and trapezoidal fins at the back. The missile can be launched from rail that is outer pylons of the fighter aircraft as well as ejector launch that is from the internal bay of the fighter jets which is built for AMCA. Back in March 2021, DRDO has also tested solid-fueled ducted ramjet SFDR technology successfully. The development of SFDR technology has enabled DRDO to make its own long-range air to missile Astra Mark III which could mirror the capabilities of best missiles in its class. The prototype of Astra Mark III, which is under development, will soon be out. It will have newly developed SFDR technology with a range of 350 km. To summarize ever, Astra Mark II will spot AEC-based seeker, laser proximity fuse, directional fragmentation warhead, latest guidance navigation control system, along with latest electronic countermeasures features with a range of 160 to 200 kilometers. The missile would be integrated with Su-30 MKI, MiG-29 UPG, Tejas MK-1 and Rafale of Indian Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.